Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to check a new F7 flight controller by Speedybee. In this video, I'm going to go over its features and specs and also announce a giveaway. In terms of packaging, inside the box along with the flight controller, you can find a high quality XT60 battery connector, which is pre-soldered to seven centimeters long, 12 AWG silicon wires, a bag that contains a harness for connecting the flight controller to a 4-in-1 ESC, rubber spacers, and plastic M3 spacers and screws. In addition, you are also getting this card, which points you to the excellent SpeedDB app that allows you to configure the flight controller either by using an OTG cable if you're using an Android device, or by using the built-in Bluetooth chip, and then you can wirelessly configure the flight controller using either Android or iOS devices. The weight of the SpeedyB F7 flight controller is 9.5 grams and its outer dimensions are 43.6 by 37.3 by 5.7 millimeters. It comes pre-flashed with Petaflight 4.1.0 and it's using the SpeedyB F7 firmware. In terms of features, the SpeedyB F7 flight controller can be powered using lighter batteries between 3 to 6 cells. It features a built-in PDB and a current sensor that supports up to 200 amperes. On each corner of the flight controller, you can find ground, VCC, and signal pads for easily connecting it to independent ESCs. In case you would like to connect it to a 4-in-1 ESC, you can use this 8 pins connector, and next to it you can find also 8 soldering pads, so in case it breaks, you can simply use them. Most of the soldering pads can be found on the top side of the flight controller. On the front, you're going to connect your VTX and camera. So over here, you can find the video in, 5 volts, ground, and you can also power the camera using VBAT, and it also supports camera control. On the right side, you're going to connect the VTX. So over here, you can find the video out. You can power the VTX either by using 5 volts, 9 volts, or using VBAT, and you can also find a TX port over here for using smart audio. On its rear side, you can find four pads which are meant to be used with your radio receiver. So over here you can find plus five volts, ground, and a free UART port. In total, this flight controller features four free UART ports, so it got you covered. As I mentioned before, the SpeedyB F7 all-in-one flight controller features a built-in Bluetooth chip. Once powered up, you'll be able to configure the flight controller over Bluetooth using the SpeedyB app. So you can see that it discovered the SpeedyB F7 flight controller. And by the way, the latest version of the SpeedyB app supports Betaflight 4.1.0. So you can see over here all the settings. So you can see now I'm moving the flight controller around and it reflects over here, even though it's a little bit slow. And you'll be able to configure the flight controller just as you would on your computer. This is a very convenient way of configuring the flight controller on the go. And by the way, once you're going to arm your quadcopter, the Bluetooth connection is going to be automatically turned off, so it's not going to interfere with your radio signal. At the moment of shooting this video, the SpeedyB F7 all-in-one flight controller costs $50, and it's only available through SpeedyB's website. I know it's not cheap, but I think that considering its features, you get what you pay for. One more thing before wrapping up this video. SpeedyB kindly agreed to sponsor a giveaway, so one of you lucky subscribers is going to win this flight controller, which is going to be directly sent to you by SpeedyB. In case you would like to participate in the giveaway, all you have to do is to make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, turn on the notifications bell, so in case you are the winner, you're not going to miss out, and leave a comment down below. The winner of the flight controller is going to be announced next week, and the only condition for this giveaway to happen is that this video is going to reach 1000 views. Just as a reminder, currently I'm having two more giveaways and the winners are going to be announced in the next few days. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. I would like to thank SpeedyB for sponsoring this giveaway and I will see you soon on my next videos. Goodbye.